I've written down a short list of some of the top foods that I consume. These foods are foods that help with anti-aging and I focus on these foods because there are many foods actually that can aid in good health overall. There are many foods but so as to be focused, <laughs> uh, I wanted to just write down uh, some of my favorite uh, champion foods, if you will. And these are some of the staples in my own diet. And I recommend these to everyone watching. If you don't already consume uh, many of these foods, you can incorporate one or more and you will see a noticeable change, a benefit in your health. The first food is something that I've been eating one of per day since 2016, and that is avocados. So avocados are a heart healthy food. They are loaded with anti-aging, disease fighting antioxidants. One avocado in fact contains over 20 vitamins and minerals. Uh, so it's a nutrient powerhouse. And of course it uh, supplies fiber, vitamins E, C, and K, as well as being a rich source of magnesium and potassium. So it's very good for regularity, for digestive regularity. So it's a really good food if you're having uh, problems with constipation or irregularity. It's also obviously a healthy fat. It's a rich source of fat, which is protective against cancer and inf inflammation. It supports the brain and it supports he heart health as well. And the carotenoids, namely lutein and alpha plus beta carotene, these carotenoids are proven antioxidants that have protective properties against age-related degeneration. Consistent avocado consumption also provides uh, the gut microbiome with uh, quantity and diversity, which supports digestive health, as I mentioned. Folate in avocados plays a critical role in cognitive ability. Eating one avocado per day boosts cognitive function, mood, and sharpens the mind. And lastly, they aid in satiety because of the fat content. So they're a very satisfying food and they help with metabolism and weight management. So I am a fan of one avocado per day. I swear by it for numerous reasons. And a bonus is that it aids in skin health. So your skin will glow uh, because this is feeding your body from the inside out and that healthy fat will help boost your skin's radiance. The next food I want to talk about are oysters. They are a staple and I eat them every week. Oysters are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin E, and zinc. So zinc benefits the immune system, as we know, but it also plays a critical role in hair growth and skin integrity. So if you incorporate oysters, especially if you're not eating them already or you, this is not a regular food that you eat, it benefits so much in your hair and your skin. In fact, when I started consuming oysters regularly, my hairdresser actually commented as she was washing my hair, she was like, what are you doing? I said, what are you talking about? She said, your hair got thicker. And I said, that's great. Oh, that I really appreciate that. She said, no, Jen, your hair is like twice as thick. So she noticed a difference, and I as well noticed a difference in the thickness of my ponytail, the shininess of my hair, and it benefits the skin too, because zinc is involved in wound healing and the elasticity and the integrity of your skin. So again, with the beauty benefits, but it has many other benefits as well. Oysters are rich in vitamin D, copper, manganese, and iron. And they are obviously an excellent source of protein as well. So they're the building blocks. They will provide the building blocks for your body's tissues, the organs. It's, it's just a very supportive food. And oysters are one of the foods that when I incorporated it, I noticed a huge difference. After just eating oysters once, once or twice a week, within about six weeks, which is not that long, I started to see immense benefits. So I've been eating them now for several years and I'll never stop. And they're delicious too. So beef liver, you all knew probably, if you are familiar with me at all, you knew this was coming. There are significant benefits to eating actually all types of liver and other organ meats. 
I also consume cod liver uh, for the same reason. It's just packed with nutrients. In fact, it contains more vitamins and minerals than can be found in any plant food and any muscle meat for that matter. Liver provides vitamin C, potassium, selenium, vitamin E, B12, B6, folate. Uh, it's rich in iron, uh, copper, calcium. It's sometimes referred to as nature's multivitamin for this reason, because as you can see, beef liver specifically, oh, it's vitamin A rich too. It's The list goes on and on and on. So it is packed with nutrients. The body can immediately use this type of energy, which is the reason that if you consume beef liver, you can attest to this, and I can attest to this as well. If you consume beef liver, the noticeable change in your energy, your mood, everything, there's no mistaking it. It, it makes you come alive. <laughs> and it's particularly good, I find, around my period. It uh, replenishes the body with iron and other critical vitamins and nutrients and minerals that can help my body uh, rejuvenate. Um, after it has been depleted. Vitamin B in beef liver, it's extremely rich in B12 specifically, but it contains all the B vitamins. These are supportive to organ health, brain development, and mental concentration. And you only need a little bit. That's the thing with beef liver. You just need a tiny bit. Feeding just one ounce of beef liver to people who were previously vegan the benefits are immense and one ounce is not a lot. So if you eat one or two or three ounces per week or even like three ounces per two weeks, my point is just in include it versus not including it. The difference is immense. Beef liver is rich in vitamin A, of course, which is preformed retinol. So it can slow the rate of uh, premature visible signs of aging like wrinkles and lines. Of course, all of these in combination are best, but um, the foods that I'm listing here and talking about are the really the standout foods that I want to encourage people to include if they're not already consuming them. The next food on my list are potatoes. I love potatoes. I love all kinds of potatoes, in fact. And a tip is to cook your potatoes and then put them in the refrigerator or the freezer and eat them cold for the benefits of resistant starch, which have uh, better benefits on blood glucose regulation, as well as the synthesis of the complex carbohydrates contained in potatoes. But I digress. Potatoes are high in fiber, which aids in satisfaction and um, digestive health, as well as improving blood pressure naturally. They're high in B1 and folate, which helps regulate blood, blood cell and blood uh, pressure. It helps build the blood. These are blood boosting and nutritive foods that help the blood supply in the body. They, the vitamin B6, in fact, in potatoes can be protective against anemia. So ladies, another important food to consume um, anytime really, but around your period, especially leading up to your period, these can be great. I deliberately bump up my potato consumption a week or two before my period because potatoes, they can help your body build progesterone, which will aid in regular healthy menstrual cycles. There is a substantial noticeable benefit um, that I feel. So that's what I encourage you all to do, by the way, with all of these foods or anything I talk about, really. Don't take my word for it. Uh, trust your body. So experiment with your body and be willing to incorporate some of these and find out for yourself and see for yourself. You don't need me to tell you, although I'm speaking now to, to help you, hopefully, <laughs> to inform you, but don't take my word for it. Always um, you know, take it into your own hands. The responsibility, the onus is on us to create these lifestyle habits, including diet, especially diet, that will uh, support and maintain our health for hopefully a long time, a long and healthy, robust, uh, happy life. So that's my wish for you. Deeply pigmented potatoes, particularly the Okinawan purple sweet potatoes and the Japanese sweet potatoes, which are uh, purple, uh, skinned and yellow fleshed. Those two are my favorite types of potatoes. The anthocyanins, particularly in those dark, um, those my favorite purple blue Okinawan sweet potatoes, which have, by the way, a white or yellowish outer skin and a deep purplish blue inner flesh. 
those contain anthocyanins, which are anti-cancer uh, plant pigments, those deep pigments that are contained in things like berries too, uh, pomegranates. Those rich colors uh, have anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, anti-aging benefits. So they're very important to be consuming on a regular basis. They are protective for neurons and the entire nervous system, especially the brain. So you want to be incorporating these deeply pigmented foods like berries and pomegranates. But my favorite way to get them is those deep purple Okinawan sweet potatoes. I love them so much. So those are a staple in my diet. The next food is kimchi and other fermented foods. My preference and my bias is towards kimchi, but I don't discriminate. I love sauerkraut. Any fermented food is going to benefit you, but I like to focus on kimchi because it's my favorite and I enjoy making it as well as eating it. <laughs> and kimchi consumption is associated with various health benefits. It's anti-inflammatory. It improves blood glucose regulation, enhances immunity, and it helps with atopic dermatitis, which I did not know, but that's a very interesting fact. So it helps the integrity of the skin and promotes good skin health, and it prevents atherosclerosis and aids in digestive health. We know that probiotics help digestion and GI health, so it's a um, important food to feed the gut microbiome and help proliferate those beneficial gut bacteria that we want to multiply and thrive. Kimchi is also made from Napa cabbage and Napa cabbage on its own is high in vitamin A, C. It's also a good source of iron, B6, and folate. So it's very nutrient dense food, even without the fermentation. But the fermentation process that creates the probiotic magic of kimchi and other fermented foods. So that's another favorite staple food of mine. Moving on to olive oil, extra virgin olive oil specifically. It's just a must have need for me <laughs> and I make it a habit and I just do it like brushing my teeth. I, it's a non-negotiable for me. Olive oil is packed with polyphenols. There's that word again. And polyphenols help improve cholesterol and support brain health and heart health. And these are bioactive compounds that combat oxidative stress. So oxidative stress we know is what damages DNA, it damages the cells, and it damages the proteins and lipids in our bodies. So we want to do as much as we can uh, proactively to reduce oxidative stress. And one way to do this is consuming things like extra virgin olive oil on a daily basis. Uh, antioxidants in olive oil have anti-inflammatory properties. They fight cancer, they are neuroprotective and antimicrobial. It strongly promotes overall health and specifically cardiovascular health. It's one of those beauty from the inside out foods, which all of these are. Olive oil specifically, uh, again, you if you don't consume olive oil and you start, you will notice a marked difference in the quality of your skin, your hair. It complements things like vegetables, dark leafy greens, cruciferous. If you pair olive oil with your vegetables, it is like a one-two punch and it's it's a good thing for your overall health. So that's one thing you can do to help the absorption of the vitamins and minerals within plant foods is to pair it with a healthy fat such as an avocado or olive oil or both. <laughs> the next food are eggs. Eggs are a super food. <laughs> eggs provide numerous health benefits, strong muscles, tissue and organ repair, organ support, skin health, brain health, nervous system support. Eggs contain all the protein and nutrients that your body needs to build. So it's an extremely beneficial food. And it is especially high in vitamin A, B12, selenium, and choline. These are key to helping to keep the immune system robust. And the nutrients found in eggs lower the risk of heart disease specifically choline is helpful for this because it provides a defense against heart disease by breaking down homocysteine. 
eye health is aided by increasing your egg consumption because of the antioxidants lutein and zeaxanthin contained in eggs. And these two antioxidants uh, help prevent macular degeneration, which is age-related vision loss. So eating eggs is very protective against that condition. And eggs are generally uh, packed with vitamins that promote good vision. So it strengthens eye health your skin health because it is rich in zinc and protein, two things that boost skin health, as well as it is a rich source of, as we know, cholesterol. And cholesterol also is very protective, not only for the brain, but for the skin. Vitamins A, B, E, D, and K, those fat-soluble vitamins are found in eggs. Those help keep the skin uh, supple and radiant and it helps in the firmness too and elasticity uh, in the skin. So a, another beauty food, <laughs> but also just an overall health food. The next food is a beverage and it's green tea. So I've been drinking green tea for many, many years. Most of my whole adult life at this point. Green tea supports cognition, metabolism, and also prevents cancer. Green tea contains a type of plant pigment, polyphenol, EGCG, and this is an antioxidant that helps decrease cellular damage and visible signs of aging, as well as it is linked to things like good oral health, so the teeth and gums, as well as the bones, and it helps to manage blood sugar and support a healthy metabolism. The antioxidants in green tea are known to be anti-aging, and particularly, again, you guessed it, for the skin. It can pre prevent the premature signs of aging, such as lines, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it's very good for both the inside and the outside. Um, I enjoy it immensely, and my body thanks me for it. The last food on my list, can anyone guess? You can pause the video and guess, <laughs> and see if you got it right. Uh, it's bone broth. So bone broth is what I consider a food supplement. Bone broth is my natural collagen supplement. As we age, our bodies produce less and less collagen, and this process of producing less and less collagen starts at around the age of 30. The effects of this are thinning of the skin, dulling and dryness of the skin, as well as decreased elasticity and the premature visible signs of aging. Overall, the loss of collagen in simple terms leads to wrinkle formation and it leads to premature wrinkle formation. So the aim here is not to stop or interrupt nature, but to always delay, that's what I say and promote, is just to slow the rate of aging if we can. And we can, we can do things that will help slow the rate of aging. In other words, preserve what we have, preserve and protect what we have. That's what I practice and that's my mantra. It's often what we can stop doing or not do as opposed to what we can do. So yes, you can consume things like bone broth, which is what I do, um, but you can also naturally increase your collagen by stopping the lifestyle habits, the bad lifestyle habits, such as smoking, um, not protecting your skin from the sun, drinking alcohol excessively, poor diet, excessive exposure to pollution, these things all promote collagen loss. So if you don't engage in these things or you protect yourself against these habits, uh, your, your loss of collagen will be less because you are promoting the healthy collagen production and you are decreasing the rate at which your body loses collagen by not engaging in these unhealthy lifestyle habits. Sometimes abstaining is the most powerful action that we can take. Second to bone broth, you can of course consume collagen supplements, which are the next best thing if you don't want to get it from a food source. And supplements or dietary uh, adjustments such as consuming protein-rich foods, foods that are high in vitamin C, zinc, and copper, many of the foods that I have listed previously in this video, uh, check off that box. And bone broth. <laughs> bone broth is perhaps the best source. Um, it kind of goes right to the source, literally. It's a gelatinous collagen 
um, bomb <laughs> and it's made from the collagen of animals so you are consuming the direct source of the nutrient but again I will emphasize that the stopping of bad habits the stopping of those self-destructive habits such such as not protecting yourself from UV rays excessive exposure to pollution uh, smoking excessive alcohol consumption these habits if you uh, stop those habits, that has a much more profound effect than you might realize. And uh, I would recommend starting there. In this case, you don't necessarily have to do something, but rather it's what you're going to stop doing so that you can facilitate a healthier body and hopefully uh, a longer and better life as you age. So I hope this video was helpful. I thank you as always for watching. And I wish you good luck.